Hey guys, we're back with the My StarCraft Arena and we're going straight into our third match for the night. We have Liquid Bunny who just won out over Daishi in a 3-1 victory, very convincing, versus Liquid Snoot. So it's gonna be a team kill here, no matter what happens. And let's get started here. On our first map it's going to be Overgrowth. And in the top right, as our blue Terran, playing for Team Liquid, it is Bunny. His opponent on the left, bottom left of the map, as the red Zerg, also playing for Team Liquid, it is Snoot. And if you're wondering, why didn't I hear about this? How come these guys just started now? Um, this is very much l l last minute. I just set the stream up uh, a couple minutes uh, a couple minutes ago. We were barely able to get into the last game between Bunny and Daishi, but it was a pretty amazing match with the base race at the end. Um, and these guys, I mean Bunny and Snood, I would expect them to show us like some top caliber games here. Um, their teammates, they train a lot together. Um, possibly have like very very specific strategies um, against each other um, something that something that would possibly not pull off against someone else but since they know each other so well I would expect some really really strong mind games from these two so right that's that's an interesting opening already from Snoot um, going straight for the watchtower checking all the possible spots um, for maybe a um, early um, early barracks play, uh, early barracks aggression. So he's losing out a little bit in the uh, economical game here, but not too much to worry about since uh, he can close this off later and possibly go for a faster third. And uh, he rests here a little bit, just stopping the timing of that command center by maybe 10, 15 seconds. But that's that's a solid start already. Possibly making it worth his while, just getting that drone out there. And of course going for hatch first, uh, going for the spawning pool uh, afterwards. I think this uh, was a 15 hatch, not too sure. And ooh, going straight for the gas. Um, it's interesting, considering he's, he only saw the command center on low ground. Uh, didn't check the gas or anything uh, being taken by Bunny. But of course, um, just playing it safe, going for the gas early on, going for speed early on, and just having the, those speed links available for defense helps out quite a bit and can secure your early game by, by a lot. So, first two queens are starting here, and let's see what Bunny is up to. Ooh, he still has that one SCV that's quite low, the one that was building the command center earlier. And Snoot is getting into position here, uh, getting his first overlord over to the main base of Bunny. And Bunny in the previous games he went for these early Vikings, just to um, uh, get early map control in the air and possibly um, even get rid of these overlords that are scouting out on the edges of his, of his base. So there we go, Factory is coming in and wow, surprisingly enough, uh, Roach Warren by Snoot. Now, it seems like this has come into fashion again lately. Because, I don't know, I, f a few months ago, uh, roaches weren't really a viable option ag against Terran. Because in large enough numbers, they they just die against anything that he builds. Um, the Terran goes for a huge groups of marines, uh, he's in a good spot versus roaches. If he build, builds lots of Marauders, he's just in a perfect position. And not a lot of Terrans are going for these um, massive numbers of Hellions anymore that would really warrant um, like a strong, strong Roach push. And looks like Snoot is going for just that. Um, he is building drones on the side, so it's not really clear if he wants to go for an all-in here. But maybe just poke out, see if Bunny is prepared. And so far, uh, it's only a single bunker. Uh, he did go for the Hellion production, uh, no Hellions on the map as of yet, but um, having that factory available and having the tech level available for a possible swap to get the siege tank out, get in a good position, position your siege tanks here up on the high ground and um, the siege down on possibly keep the roaches out, That that is extremely important here. 
but he needs to realize what is happening. And this could happen now. Ooh, the Hellings are moving in. First one's focused out already. Second one taken out great away. And, of course, needing to get those SCVs into position. That's a lot of SCVs, though. I think he can hold this for now. But no swap coming out. Two Widow Mines are in production. But are they coming out too late? Speed is being researched by Liquid Snoop behind this. And he's also going for a third. Getting drones. So this is no in no way in an all-in. But just a really solid, strong opener. And doing a lot of SCV damage already. Um, ten workers killed, and he's going into the main. There's a single Marauder, and the Roaches are surrounded. I think Bonnie can still clear this up, but he's losing so many workers. Wow, and the Roaches are still alive. There's this, there's the Widow Mines. Can the Widow Mines reposition to get in a nice spot here? But wow, that's so many workers already lost. 25 workers down. Only nine are left alive here for Bunny. I don't think there's any coming back from this. That's just way too much damage output. And Snoot's still in there with a single roach. Is Bunny gonna try it, nevertheless? Oh, there's another roach just sitting there. Um, I think he's in uh, an okay position to just defend any ongoing pressure. But there's not gonna be any. Um, Snoot is in such an optimal position right now. He has a lot of workers. He's up, um, wow, he's up uh, 48 workers and three bases available, well saturated. He has one, one, one on the way. Um, he has speed links. He's going for more speed links uh, right now just to get a little bit of mi map vision. That's the only thing that's missing on his side right now. Um, he has a couple of overlets available just to fly in again. But I think what he's going to do here is just go for a big, big-ass Baneling bust. There's more and more gas coming in, uh, just to get those Banelings out a lot quicker. The Baneling S is in production, a lot of links are being made here. And he still has a po possibility to just transition out of this. But for now, I think um, with the hatchery, uh, the macro hatch that's incoming, um, the Baneling nest that's being researched, I think he's going to try a little bit of a Baneling bust here. But I would love to see... A lot more Zerklings just out on the map for him, just to spot out drops, any possibility that Bunny has to come back. Snoot needs to make sure to just get rid of it by solid, solid scouting. So let's have a look at what, what Bunny is doing here. Uh, not that much, I mean, he's trying to come back up. 16 workers right now um, on the work for him, but ah, that's that's not a lot. And even with mules, um, that's... That was just a solid, solid blow by Snoot, and not something that Bunny can easily recover from. But let's see what he can make happen here. Oh, Widow Mine's not buried yet. There's a stim. He only has two Widow, uh, two medivacs available, so he needs to watch out. And that's a lot of Bane Links already being morphed in. Ooh, there's the surround. Links with one one now, and that's the GG. But Bunny, I mean, he had to try. He had to try to make something happen here. And he did, but of course, losing 50 workers, um, that's not something you easily come back from. I mean, if he would have had the superior army at that point, he could have gone for a counter-aggression. But then again, I guess Liquid Snoot n would not have um, would not have, not have drawn so hard. So, in the end, uh, really good idea. Um, yeah, really solid, solid early aggression here from Snoot. Uh, loved how he worked this. But... Yeah, that's a nice way to step into the best of five. And a really solid opener coming out of Snoot. So I think we are ready to get started here with the next with the next map. It's going to be Merry Go Round. And players are ready. Casters are ready, so let's get it started. And if you guys would be so kind uh, as to have a look on, on Reddit and possibly find the thread, maybe uh, upvote it if you like it, um, just to get a lot more people in here so they they realize that this is a pretty amazing chance uh, for some top foreigners to make a quick buck. Well, I wouldn't say quick, but um, have a good chance at, um, at making something happen here. All right, so let's do it. We are a merry-go-round, and at the six o'clock position, we have our blue Terran from Team Liquid. It is Bunny, and his opponent up one game 
in the red trunks spawned at the 10 o'clock position it is liquid snoot and he just uh, proved me wrong by quite a bit just playing a couple of roaches and surprising bunny who just wasn't prepared at all for this he had the bunker up uh, he had a solid uh, solid supply depot wall but he didn't have any marines in there and no um, no mines ready yet no uh, siege tanks ready yet none not of those solid defense options that you really want uh, in these kind of situations so um i don't know it's it's kind of a weird spot this um we saw this earlier uh, when lambo played uh, daishi and he kind of pulled off this, uh, like a similar option, um, he went for early roaches, but instead went for Nidus play, um, kind of forcing his opponent into, uh, into a siege tank. And fortunately enough, uh, Daishi did, um, did go for a siege tank later on and somehow recovered with, by just uh, massive marine production. And this is interesting, that's pool before hatch and early gas so we're gonna see a little bit of a speedling pressure coming out of out of bunny uh, out of out of snoot of course and bunny hasn't shown anything special yet not going straight for the command center oh yes he is yes he is and that's the first drone again early drone scum scout coming out of snoot so the point I was trying to make here is um, if you have this early um early roach aggression and as a terran you want to be really safe against it then you want to go for that uh, early siege tank and the issue is it really puts you back on other tech so going for the siege tank and no roach pressure too bad not gonna help you all that much i mean right now in this case it would help out quite a bit because um yeah getting the siege tank early um having um having the wall available and just firing from the high ground that's a nice option as well but let's see what snoot is trying to do here he's still gathering out a lot more a lot more zirklings still going into zirkling production and there's the roach warren coming out no second hatchery as of yet so uh looks like a roach um roachling bust speed is almost done i don't know i mean he's gathering a lot of gas gonna be enough for at least uh, six to eight roaches by the time this roach one is finished so it's a really really solid opener again and there's the factory coming out of bunny Let's see if we're gonna see the swap and possibly the siege tank the siege tank is something that would really save him here and oh no the reactor being placed down so that means it's only going to be marines for now possibly um, Possibly hell Hellions later on, but that's not gonna help all that much. And the there's uh, the Speedlings coming in. Oh, good reaction time out of Bunny. Getting Supply Depot up. But that's a lot of that's a lot of Speedlings. They're nibbling away at the reactor. Uh, SCVs are coming in, but it's gonna be too late. Oh, there's the cancel, but... eBay gonna be placed on just after this. And there is the first Hellion. And just five Roaches in production. So mostly Speedlings, just a few Roaches. I don't know if I like this from, from Snoot. But one thing he could definitely do here is just get rid of this mining expansion. Um, this is something that he's in a good position to do. With these roaches, he can just position them up front, keep the links in back. This is gonna drive Bunny back. This is gonna keep him in the base. And then, um, yeah, just put out some solid pressure on the orbital and stop mining. But that's... I don't think that's gonna be enough to... Um, to get a hold in this game again. He's down by quite a bit and there's the engagement going straight for the Hellions, getting rid of the Hellions. He doesn't have high ground vision. So this Hellion still doing some solid work and wow, can he get rid of the bunker? He got rid of most of the SCVs around it, doing a lot of damage on the speed links. Only four links left alive. That's a lot of roaches and no swap so far on the factory. Um, not even a tech like on production. And that's the supply before going down. Six more links are in production behind this. And Snoot just rallying in here. Wow, can he really pull it off with cheese once again? Looks like it. Links are streaming in, going straight for the reactor. Really solid option here. He needs those additional links though on the SVs just to make a little bit more damage happen here. Oh, 
Roaches getting caught out by the SCVs, and actually SCVs are not that bad against Roaches once uh, once they do get this round, but still, three Roaches are left alive. Second bunker being contested here, and Snoot, will he take it out? Yes, he can. Just getting rid of the SCVs around it, and that's the 2-0 for Liquid Snoot. Not bad at all. Some really quick games coming out of, uh, out of these two, and Snoot, wow. Just surprising, uh, surprising bunny here, Wh which is actually a quite a bit surprising to me, because, I mean, he, uh, these guys have been playing a lot of games together, um, I would assume at least, I mean, uh, if you're on the same team, uh, that gives you some really solid options um, in the, uh, uh, yeah, in the, in the practice department, and Possibly Snoot going for something that he's not really known for, because um, if I remember correctly, he used to like love macro games and not so much go for these these early early aggressive tactics. But he's doing that just now, and it's working out quite well for him. Okay, so third and possibly final map already for Snoot King Seon Station. Looks like everyone's ready, and we're about to. Get started with the countdown. There it comes. Alright. Do you think Snoot is gonna go for some weird uh, weird cheese again? Or is Bunny gonna be prepared for it this time? Yeah, this this is really surprising. Uh, Gore Metal Smith saying it. I mean, Snoot winning pr with pressure? What the heck is happening? This is not something that Snoot is really known for, but of course, uh, this is a different scenario. Um, this is the team match, and here we are on King Seon Station in the bottom right as our blue Terran. It is Liquid Bunny, and he needs to win this. He needs to make a comeback happen and win three games in a row if he wants to go home with the big bucks. It is Bunny. His opponent currently up 2-0 in the top left here as the Red Zerg. It is Liquid Snood. I mean, the only way to really top this off, uh, what he what he did just now, go straight for uh, for an early pool, uh, not even going for gas, not even going for roaches. But I don't know, man. Um, I think I think he could just go into a macro game. He's a really really solid macro zerg. So why not go into something that you know you love and something that you know how to pull off. Yeah, and King Seon Station is also one of those maps. Um, if the early aggression fails, um, macro game is very much of a possibility. Problem is, uh, for our Zerg player, this third really wide open. You can get two engagements angle, uh, two engagement angles here. So you could come in from the right, from the left. Uh, usually you have the creep highway going this way, so most Terrans will go that way. And the thing is. When you're at the third, that's a really, really fast drop into the main. So I would love to see some drop play coming out of Bunny here. But so far he didn't really get a chance to even go that far into the, into the mid game to, well, have drops even be a possibility. Alright, so um, let's have a look at the actual setup here. Um, so this is an arena, so basically kind of like King of the Hill if you think about it. And um, you have you have uh, the setup where the first player comes into it, um, if he goes home, uh, if, he, um, if he starts out and wins the first match, he gets a... let me just look this up. Um, so the winner of the first match gets 100 euros. Then um, the winner of the second map, a match gets 200 euros, winner of the third one gets 300 euros, Winner of the uh, fourth match gets 400 euros. So you kind of have to make that decision of whether whether or not um, you're starting early. Oh, well, it's not really their decision to make, but um, the seedings kind of decide for them. But the thing is, if you win from the very beginning, like for example, tonight we started out with Lambo as the first player, and he went up against Daishi. So if Lambo would have won all games, he could have gone home with a thousand euros. But now that uh, Daishi won the first map, uh, won the first match. Oh, by the way, Reaper coming in, and 
Link's on creep, of course, can deal with him, but he's gonna sneak back in. Do a little bit more pressure, possibly get a drone, but I don't think that's gonna happen here with Snoot. Uh, he knows how to handle this early aggression. But Reaper healed back up. Of course, those combat rocks helping out quite a bit here um, in the aggression department. Alright, so yeah, um, Deishi coming in there, uh, winning the first map, uh, getting a, a winning the first match, getting 100 euros. Ooh. Those links are still hot on your tail, Reaper. Time to get out. Then um, he lost out against uh, Bunny, who came in for the second match. So Bunny got a hundred, uh, got 200 euros by winning that, and now it's up for 300 euros. So Snoot could possibly go for 300 euros, and if he would win out against Mana, who's going to be um, the last and final opponent here that's coming up in the My Starcraft Arena. Um, he would go home with 400 euros plus the 300 he just won in uh, this match. So the advantage is if you come back, if you were one of the later opponents, you get a lot of money for just a single match win. But you don't have the possibility to go home with a thousand euros like these players that start out from the very beginning. And that Reaper surprisingly still alive here. Uh, will he get away now? Ooh, just one more edge and these circlings will get to him. Yep, that's gonna be it. And Medivax. Actually a good position for Bunny. But uh, I think with just two Hellions, he's not gonna be able to uh, contest the creep spread. But so far, Snoot with only two Queens. A little bit surprising. He doesn't even have his third in production. And there's a Roach Warren coming up once again. Uh, Spinecrawler is also in production, so this is a little bit surprising. He's even going for his third gas. I would kind of expect uh, Roach Plea once again. But I don't like it that much, because the early Roach Play that he did on the very first map, that, that was a really good idea. Just put on some solid pressure, get a couple of Roaches out, uh, see what he can make happen. And he did, he did make something happen. He got 20 workers or something. And um, that, that was a really solid opener. But now, I don't know. Um, I mean, this is going to help against the Hellions. Ooh, first Hellion getting already picked off. And wow, what an amazing surround. These links getting all of the Hellions surrounded. And looks like there's a hot pickup. But that's one more Hellion. Green's trying to dart out as well. And that's just one Roach out for now. There's the second one. And 22 more links in production. Actually, these Roaches already paid off. Um, these They are going to help out quite a bit in fending off these Hellions, but did Snow Snoot not notice? I don't think he noticed the drop. Oh, but he has a couple of links available. Third, already being defended by a couple of links as well. And there's the counter direction coming in. Five, six Roaches on the way. But this time, Bunny knows. He has a lot of Hellions available. Already has a couple of workers pulled. And is he going for something to defend these roaches? Yeah, he's going for the Banshee, which does help out a little bit. And I like this play. Just all out aggression, all out harassment on the third. And just the dash darting back and forth here. But there we go. There's the attack. Snoot coming in. Bunker already taking a little bit of damage. But it, so far, there's no one in there. Uh, just a single Marine. That's not going to do all that much. But I think the Banshee helping out quite a bit here, getting rid of Roach by Roach. The Hellings in the back, still doing a little bit of damage here. Ooh, Zerklings did find an opening, and that's the first Hellion going down. Second one already under attack as well. And just one Marauder to clear this up, but it was enough here for Bunny. So let's check out the resources uh, lost. That's 1,500 for Terran. Not bad at all. Really solid defense coming out of Bunny. And he's even ahead in the worker game. So this whole darting back and forth at the third um, really kept Snoot on his toes and helped out quite a bit here. A little bit surprised that he uh, managed to pull this off, but then again, Banshee was a really solid option. Ooh, <laughs> Barada getting caught out of position. And wow, what the heck happened? Wow, what a blunder out of Bunny! Why didn't he put his supply depot back up? And those those links will get rid of the bunker. Uh, I think at least they should with only a single Marine in there, but nope. More Hellings are coming out. I think he's gonna clear this up. Yes, he is. But Snoot did buy himself a little bit of time and got rid of a lot of workers in the, at the same time. So these Zerklings did quite a bit of damage, but so far he hasn't found a way to deal with these Banshees. 
They don't have Quellog available, so he just needs to get in there with the, uh, with the Queens. Yep, and they're moving in. Four Queens available now. Will they get the kill? Ah, not quite. Bunny managing to dash out. And there we go, going for a little bit of aggression now. I don't think it's gonna be enough, uh, especially with the nice creep spread that Snoot already has set up. And I think he even spotted the Hellions uh, and Marines making their way over. But so far, just links. Um, doesn't have the Bailing Nest available. But a few roaches to help out against the Hellions, which is gonna help out uh, quite a bit. Problem is, he needs to have all of his army in the same position. And he needs to save his queens to get rid of the Hellion, uh, get rid of the Banshees. That Banshee is incredibly low and it's being taken out here. But the Roaches are not quite there yet. But behind this, really, really solid decision making out of Snoot. Going for the Nidus. He knows, okay, Bunny, completely out of position, not having uh, a lot available at the front. And the Roaches just going straight for the counter aggression. Just marching straight on into the natural here. Getting the surround on the bunker, and of course, that's way too much DPS. But is Bunny going to make uh, the base trade happen here? Will we see the second base trade in the My Starcraft Arena tonight? Looks like it, but so many queens! Wow! These queens are really working their one working wonders here for Snoot. And the Roach is not quite making their way into the main. Uh, Snoot needs to watch out. I mean, he could, could just dash by like he's doing now, and yes, he is. In the main, there's the GG, and that's a 3-0 for Liquid Snoot, and he takes home 300 euros for that, and has the possibility to make it 700 if he wins out against Liquid Man 